Hi, Hoke and Jam friends. So we have been learning about Abraham and Sarah and their son Isaac. Now Isaac grew up and married Rebecca, and they were going to have twin boys. God told Rebecca that the older son, the twin that was born first, would serve the younger. This was very unusual. In those days, the oldest was to receive an important blessing during a special ceremony and become the leader of the family once the father dies. The oldest son in the family also received something special called the birthright. He would get twice as much wealth as his brother when the father died. So instead of getting one cow, the oldest would get two. Or the younger might get 10 camels, but the oldest would get 20. But God had his own plan. He is in control of everything, even which twin would receive the birthright. Say it with me. Jesus can change me. The first twin to be born was Esau and then Jacob. Esau meant hairy because the Bible says Esau was very hairy. Many times twins look alike, but Esau looked very uh, much different from his smooth skin brother Jacob. Jacob was born holding Esau's heel as if to trip him. So they named him Jacob, one who trips and grabs from another. Esau and Jacob grew up to be very different in other ways too. Esau loved hunting and the outdoors. His father Isaac enjoyed eating the meat of the animals he caught. Jacob preferred cooking and other activities from home. He was his mother Rebecca's favorite son. One day Esau went hunting and came home tired and very hungry. As he came near their tent, he sniffed the air. Ah, Jacob must be making some good stew, he thought. When Esau asked Jacob for some stew, Jacob saw a way to get something he wanted from his brother. I'll give you some of my stew, Jacob said, but first sell me your birthright. Esau being the oldest knew the birthright was important, but he was very hungry. Esau just wanted something to fill his stomach. He was willing to give up his birthright. He gave the birthright to Jacob and Jacob gave him some stew. Jacob took advantage of his brother. Remember what God had told Rebekah, the older would serve the younger. It was God's plan that Jacob would get the birthright, but Jacob was going about it completely the wrong way. The years went by and Isaac grew old and nearly blind. It was time for Isaac to give his oldest son the special blessing from God. Isaac said to Esau, go out with your bow and arrow and hunt. Fix the meat for me the way I like it. After I have eaten, I have a special blessing for you. Esau quickly went out to do as his father instructed. Rebekah overheard and told her favorite son, Jacob, what Isaac said. Then she thought of a plan. She urged Jacob to go out to the flock and bring her two goats so that she can prepare a tasty meal for Isaac just the way he likes it. Rebekah was willing and telling Jacob to try and trick his father. What if Jacob got caught? Surely his father would know he wasn't Esau. What if Isaac touched him? He would feel smooth skin of Jacob and know the truth. But Rebekah insisted that Jacob obey. She told Jacob she would take the blame if he was caught. Jacob obeyed and left to get the goats. Jacob took advantage of his brother to get the birthright and now he was willing to deceive his father to get Esau's blessings too. Jacob's heart was full of lies and trickery and deceit, which is all sinful. So Jacob brought the goats to his mother and she prepared the meat just the way Isaac likes, liked it. Jacob put on Esau's clothes. Then Rebecca tied goat skins onto Jacob's hands and neck so he would be hairy like Esau. Would Jacob get caught? Would Isaac fall for Jacob and Rebecca's trick? Would Jacob get the birthright and blessing? What about Esau? We will find out next Sunday. Sometimes we all try to live the good way Jesus taught us in the Bible but other times we all sin. Sometimes I feel so bad and guilty that I physically feel like my heart is so ugly. Do you ever feel that way? But even with Jacob, even through his deceit and lies and taking advantage, God redeems him because God loves him so much. Jesus forgives us and redeems us too, even though we do terrible things. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So it's important to come to Jesus to confess our sins and pray. We must continue to have a relationship with Jesus so that Jesus can change us and change our hearts.